Hello? Hello. Doing my first bit of TPC content, ironically, in ZG. I am boxing my shaman and my druid with my warrior and a boat full pet. Level 70, I am farming the ZG mounts. I have one so far. Would like to get the druid, the raptor, and the shaman, either one, honestly. But I have to clear some mobs for the raptor boss here. Hold this pack and the Roman Berserker. I already killed the Berserker. It's testing my uh, OBS. Didn't have sound on, so it's not recording. <laughs> Kill the real quick. Drop my totems for my warrior. characters is getting can be kind of tricky. I am to be fair I am focusing on my warrior here. And I am fully pro on my warrior just in DPS gear. And I'm getting stunned constantly. This trash sucks. Generally, don't use the druid that much on the trash, just because it's kind of. Trash poles. I have to do one more trash pole before for the raptor boss. And I mostly just pulled that one just because you can't get by it reliably in between these two packs of mobs without aggroing them, so that's why I pull those. And the Zerker roams into this place, so I have to kind of kill him as well. But, and then I pull this Raptor pack. I use the druid to tank at least one or two of these, or you can actually kind of just tank the rest and kill them all. Use them as little rage batteries. And now with that pole out of the way, I can do the raptor boss. I do want to loot these, skin them. Surprisingly, rugged leather, and sometimes thick leather from these it's still sells. I end up with about between this pole and the tiger trash pole, eh, I end up with like half a stack of rugged leather and maybe some thick, thick leather. Alright, so right now I swap to my dedicated ZG set. 
I stack as much block value as I possibly can. Like that. And, oh, yeah, the boots still need to be enchanted. I keep forgetting about that. I'm gonna enchant them with 12 agility. Since I just go full, like, avoidance slash block value. I guess I could technically use the. Eh, nah. I'm using this mostly for the hit rating. I'm gonna. Thorns my characters. It's 15 minutes with 3 piece tier 1. It's very good to get that on Druid, even if you didn't play Classic at all. Getting that on Druid for TBC, I think it's nice. Easy three items to put up. Alright, so for this boss, I keep down Tremor Totem down 100% of the time, and then we'll actually use Gra Grace of Air Totem here, just because the warrior is not gonna only gonna do so much more damage with being a full tanky boy right now. Healing Stream. I uh, try to keep Serum Totem down, but I'm not the best at it. But mostly just need that Tremor Totem down. Let's swap back the weapon. I'm low on hit. So I am not hit cap, technically, since the boss still technically needs 9% hit, since it's still boss level, which is weird, I think. So I. Kill the raptor first here. This is a very long fight. This is about 12 to 11 minutes for me. Majority of the damage actually comes from the druid. Which I will move into position now. One thing to note. I do have to like stop attacking kinda when the boss does the focus. Which for the the more you can kinda tank the attack he does. And the druid can too, but I, if the druid's in bear form, if the druid's in cat form, he'll usually won't one shot him. Threats. So we'll redrop totems real quick. I will swap the druid to bear form just in case. Sometimes the dots still do it. Please, Tremor Totem. Thank you, Tremor Totem. That's why, because you pull these mobs. And it's not good. I can't. At that point, I've died because I've forgotten totems or something so many times. Now, with this block set, the warrior actually doesn't take a shit ton of damage here, so I do very minimum healing on the shaman. Between improved leader of the pack. Okay, come on, come on. Right. I'm just gonna. Tank the damage on that. Yeah, let's see, how much did that hit me for? That hit me for about 3,000. It is mitigated by armor, so... Now, this enrage only lasts two minutes after you kill the thing. It's not too bad. Just have to heal a little bit here. The druid's not doing anything right now, so keep that the same. Long fight is ready to go. Okay. Okay. I noticed the dot, the bleed dots will trigger that, so I have to make sure to put the druid in bear form, which it did. I'm gonna actually stop there. If 
focus on the group a little bit for about a couple seconds here. Spend our energy. Back to the warrior. Make sure totems are up. So yep, okay, there we go. I should probably just save effort and steal. Them. Keep battle shell. I'm not the best at that. I can probably invest in that a weak horse for that. Just for this. Generally during the raids I can keep it up pretty normally. Here I, after you know so long of this fight. Ooh, make sure something stays up. Yeah, you see the druid's damage is Generally, what makes this fight go quicker? You know, gotten a bit of gear on her. It's actually been really nice. Got this is currently phase one, and oops, he still does the threat drop, so I do have to watch that, especially for the sh if the shaman dies, I'm can potentially wipe. Redrop totems. Generally, just gonna ignore the shaman for the most part if he ever gazes them, which is actually really nice. Yeah, this is, you know, a very boring fight. Drop threat there, gotta make sure. But yeah, this is currently phase one, so just Karazhan, Gruul, and Maxeridon. But. Okay, drew a swap for bear form, keep Arado attacking, I guess. I kind of want to move him just, yeah, in case it's a. Come on, there we go. So yeah, I clear that Raptor pack just for the fears, basically. Even with Tremor Totem, especially that, like, how it's a lot better now. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm talking about battle shouting. So, uh, Guillotine can also be like dodge buried and all that shit, so. Which it felt like it never did in Classic. I mean, when it did, it just immediately died, but it's probably because of the level cap, that's why it's hitting me for Tremor Totem, Tremor Totem, Tremor. Okay, I had Strength of Earth Totem. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad, fuck. Back, drop back of tremor totem. Holy shit, you went slow. I don't think I want to upload a video if I didn't wipe there. Yeah, I probably would have, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm actually going to upload this video at all. I just haven't done OBS in so long. Alright, come on. I don't care. Yeah. 
drop. Yeah, I'm blocking 550, and with the level and all that, it just re reduces his damage on the on my warrior to like nothing almost. Like his melee swing hit me for 300. Um, sometimes he overpowers and whatnot, but yeah, 1,000 overpower. I have like 12,000 HP, so not that big a deal. Oh, I kind of forgot about, kind of thought, uh, yeah, my druid's gotten pretty, a lot better gear. Like, I've got Staff of the Ill Hoof from Karazhan. That's really good for, I've been mostly tanking on the druid. As far as, you know, not solo box content that I'm doing right now. And let's ignore the druid for now. Big shield reflection. Didn't really got one in classic, didn't use it that much. Alright. Guess I won't play the druid for a little bit here. We're gonna probe real quick. MS does hit for quite a bit, hit for a thousand there. Or so. But for, yeah, for the most part, I can still more. Most this way. It's a long, steady grind. What will kill me is not having camera totem down, which I almost did earlier. It is funny, the spirits will resi, so I can, in some situation where I've gotten like the fucking shaman. He's dropped Threat and Feared, and he's like MS the Shaman, and like, could I actually kill the Shaman because of the armor on her? Like, I have all male gear, but. But, like, I've, like, had the Shaman die, and then, like, the Chain Spirit will res him, so it's actually not that big a deal. As long as I get, don't get, like, a succession of the characters dying, it will really fuck me. Totems again. I'm dropping them like way earlier than I need to. Like, I had 30 seconds left on this home still. Swap the druid. Drummer, thank you. Like, there is a like reduced mob aggro because I'm milk level 70, but. It is. It's still possible to aggro everything point to that. Home stretch, home stretch, here we go. Yeah, this is let's see if we get a raptor. I would like this on my druid, please. Doing this every reset for about I don't know how long. I think this will be 16. I've been solo boxing on this one. All right, Raptor mount. No Raptor mount. I do get a big bit of gold, but like it's not. This isn't really a gold farm. The gold helps, but like I do like spend a few gold just to repair bills, especially. Well, I used my force reactive disc for like the, the tiger fucking trash kill. But let's look at stuff on the druid. My druid is still enchanting, so. And very interesting enough, ZG Blues disenchants with small prismatic shards. 
the old TBC regents. So I'll leave in here with usually just a shard and a one big shard, one small shard because of conversion. Thankfully, ooh, my gift of the wild actually faded out. I didn't realize that. Let's see how fat. That was a slow kill. That was 12 minutes and 28 seconds. My last kill was 11 minutes and 16 seconds, so I probably played a bit conservatively. But at the end of the day, I'm mostly here to just kill these bosses, hopefully get chances at mounts. I got very lucky with the tiger mount. I got the tiger mount and the ace kill. So, very lucky. Happily leave that to the warrior. Now, tiger boss is a bit more interesting. I wiped or I've effed up the fight, but like I, depending on what the FF is, it either just makes the fight incredibly longer or just a little bit longer. It's the ad heal. I have two characters, or warrior can bash and the shaman can earth shock. Every once in a while, because the mob still gouge and they also randomly blind a character. This is why I kind of also have the druid with me. The druid will like kind of off think, well the warrior's gouged or blind. But sometimes where it'll get gouged and the stupid mob will start healing and the t the boss actually does the silence too, so sometimes the shaman is silent, so the heal will get off no matter what I do almost to some extent, unless I like quickly like ran the druid out of range so feral charge won't happen because I'm I'm solo boxing, I'm not better this, kill this like kill, clear this area. Pull everything to this corner. Drop some totems for the shaman. I will. Very loud. Um, I'm not sure how OBS is going to react to this, but. this with all these mobs skin them which you know, it's just kind of vendor the like primal the like tiger leathers and all that it's not really useful anymore swap to my the cabinet for this way well just for the pull because the range on this is like way f longer than like just, you know, a range weapon for, for at least a warrior. Swap back to my shield here. Now, one of the things that's notable, I need a little more hit rating. Because I believe... What level are they? Oh, they're not boss level, so actually I don't need the hit. Uh, hit for the boss would, you know, just, you know, increase my damage a little bit, or make it a little more consistent. Uh, finish skinning here. Take a second here. So yeah, my warrior is just like a regular prot rating spec right now. For the most part, the damage on this fight's kind of same thing as Raptor Boss, kind of negated just from all the like, block value gear I have on. I have some hit pieces on. I'm just gonna equip my Romeo and get some hit rating. 
don't need it, but it really comes down to the Druid's gear. How fast the fight? Well, actually, no. Mostly, the Warrior and the Druid do about the same amount of damage here. Like overall, this is the same thing. About if it, I don't get a heal off, it's about eleven to twelve minute fight. Pull here. Drop totems while I work. Can drop. Oh shoot! No, no, no. Swap weapons. Okay. I'm still amazed that the spot like you can even pull from there to here. Everyone did that. Lastly, you can never clear this area anymore, which is kind of funny. So get our granolis. Kill the tigers off eventually. Kill a tiger. Get a heal off. Right. It's not a big deal if she gets a heal off and the tiger and tigers have like no HP. Yeah, but Shaman did get blinded there, so I have to keep that in mind. The boss does cleave, so I have to make sure just that both the other characters are in front of him. to get on the druid a little bit and make sure I get aggro on everything so when where he gets gouged it goes to the druid and not the shaman. Granted the shaman doesn't do, do a lot of threat so I actually don't have to heal that up much. Not too bad. shit ton time is if the healer gets the heal off especially when I'm getting ready to kill them or when I actually do kill them that'll actually add a ton of time so that's something I definitely don't want to have to happen but for the most part it's not it's the end of the world I've had like 19 minute fights and gotten this down so Here. It's amazing how much actual healing a heal a, a situation like this, how much healing healing stream actually does. Alright, I think I am okay to maybe swap the cat form for a little bit. Try to speed up this fight a little bit. The boss has way more HP than the other two, but I try to keep them somewhat close to each other. But between healing stream and this earth shield, like oh, barely any line of MS. That's all right. We got a heal going. Bash that. Some more aggro or damage, I guess. Get some more. Ooh, we got a heal. Yeah, I'm getting that off. But, yeah, this is part of my TBC experience, is gonna be killing these two bosses every three days, or roughly every three days, every reset. I've been doing them for a month and a half, I guess would be 15, so not, I'm gonna bash. All right, good. Get some damage on Zath. Redrop totems. Throw one heal off. 
sure about the shelter, because I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, I dodged Gouge. He would have got a heal off because I couldn't swap, probably couldn't swap to the Shaman fast enough for that. I thought it all shot it. I guess it. I have to be a little careful to make sure the warrior doesn't get down too low because the silence does happen. You do resist most of them, but at 70, but it's looking kind of at me. Or at least it has. This not gouge the warrior a little bit, which is actually kind of nice. No, don't heal. No, no stabby. Ooh, okay. That's the scary part about swapping the druid out of cat form. We don't notice right away, like, the druid got MS by the boss there, and it does a lot of damage on a cat. Bash, thank you. I might not swap to... Okay. Uh, I am, for safety reasons, gonna tranquility because it. Eh, might as well hurricane. I think I'm close to the kill phase here. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And I think I can kill him. Alright. We drop totem. That went pretty smooth, no heals. Um, this is pretty easy, just gotta kill these adds kinda, so it don't overwhelm me. I do like weird proximity threat, so I have to taunt them to get the actual them off my other characters, but not too that big deal. Need to get on the crew in a second here, move her around correctly. And I am going to lust right now for the fuck of it. I kind of forget to do that sometimes. He's still cleaved, so I'm going to make sure my other characters are in front, which is doing that. I think I might be on track to. By the time you do enough damage, those tigers are... Because they start with, like, enough threat that you basically have to do enough, like, damage, enough damage to, like, kill them before you actually pull them off naturally without taunt. It's annoying, but it's not that big deal. Probably get one more set of adds here. Three drop totems. Alright, let's 
Let's see, are we lucky today? Probably not. Nope. Yeah, blue item kind of always sketches me out there. So, no luck today. That's fine. Do make about. Between all the items and this, the raw gold, and. The epic still disenchant into Nexus crystals, but you can convert those to small prismatics, so that's not too bad. I would say roughly, I get up maybe about 100 gold for, you know, an hour of work here. Pick up some silver sage right here real quick. And yeah, that's... That is a free bo solo boxing fucking of ZG with TBC here. Um, I will check this hoodoo pile real quick. I have one warrior doll at the moment, which for future helms I will. The uh, rogue doll. It is nice at seventy now. I can actually. Just Train away everything on one character and then loot on another on like every voodoo pile in here. I probably won't do that today just because I'm a little, I don't really want to. <laughs> but yeah, that was a Tiger Boss and Raptor Boss farming. I have killed the Fish Boss once. I do not care about the Plymouth Turtle book, even though it would probably sell for quite a lot. Or maybe, I'm not sure. This is, I have to go fish all the five fishes. I have lures still, which I bought 40 lures at the start of the ZG. And I only used half of them. So, it is what it is. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this random, probably very, very unpolished video. <laughs> or recording, I guess. Alright, take it easy.